Hey guys, Nergy Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with Empire War, Awakened Rebellion, and we're doing an Empire campaign. First of all, two things. Sorry for the generator in the background. I am currently streaming this on Twitch. That's the second thing. Because you can ask, I mean, not really ask, but I guess if the stream decides to comment later on the video, they'll let you know that literally as I loaded up the save, the generator turned on outside of my window. So, it's, 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 I, I, sometimes coincidences are just awful. And I'm not pleased with this one, but, nonetheless, we're going to continue filming and well, recording and streaming. Did I mention we're streaming? <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be the first streamed video if it all goes well, which hopefully it does. Because that'd be really neat. Anyway, uh, so I already turned on all the things when we loaded on the save. So last episode, we decided to take down the huts as a little bit of a revenge for the crash that happened uh, two episodes ago. And it, that wasn't just successful, that was amazing. We managed to take out... Uh, we managed to defend Kessel, first of all. And we managed to take uh, Eulatia and Gamor. Which means we're about to take Camino, which is absolutely legendary. But now, which is what we're gonna do immediately, we're not gonna even hassle. I mean, first I should probably put a fleet lead. So let's put on our Quintons, because our Quintons are cool, I like them. They're a fun little ship. And we're gonna move them to Nalhata. Because, yes. The capital of the huts, and we're gonna take them down at their core. That, that, is that a rebel? Wait, I see... No, wait, that's red. Okay, first... Well, I guess it's fine. But if it's only a... If it's only a credit generation... That means that if they have Intercession 4... Or... I mean, they have Nimban. So their main fleet is either Intercession 4 or Nimban. Or we already killed it. Which, if so... That means that crushing the huts is going to be a lot easier than I anticipated. So it's literally going to be like stepping on slugs. Uh, that's a lot darker than I meant it to be, but you guys get what I mean. Oh, yeah. <coughs> no, sorry. The throat is a bit dry. I should really have brought a cup of water. Anyway, there's my little Quentin Slight cruiser. Only one person commented on the debate about the light cruiser, so shout out to Night Stalker. <laughs> he actually did talk about the fact that the light cruiser is called the light cruiser. Advancing. Anyway, so I kind of want to make them retreat so that I don't have to fight any battle. So we're just gonna yeet Star Destroyers at them until they're like, oh no, anyway. So, you know what, let's put in... Nah, we're gonna keep the interdictor in the back. Let's just put the normal ISD. Yeah, that's not what I meant to do. You know what? Let's just put a tector. Screw it. Tector. Tector in the back. Tector in the back, and then just put ISD. 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 And launch all victories. No, reinforcement is gonna go through. The uh, there we go, victory. You move forward, Tector. And we're gonna bring in a little Arquintons. Do you wish to surrender? If not, we will have joy crushing you. Bombers go for the, I guess a shield generator would be like the best thing to go for. Just uh, right down there, there you go. So yeah, bombers just go for the shield generator. Uh, fighters, make sure those ships don't get to us. Everything else, all the Star Destroyers and the Victories, go for the bases. Apparently they finally want to fight one of these. You know, the one time that I actually don't want to fight one. They're like, you know what, let's fight it, why not? Let's see if they can go up against three victories and four ISDs. 
Uh, we do have two Quintans. I feel like we should make these guys be the picket fighters that they are and focus our fire on the Corona class armed cricket. Once again, very unfortunate name for these troublesome times. Where are they fighting firing those turbo lasers? But nonetheless, here we have it. We have the Tector just doing what Tectors do and just Wait, is that that's not a Tector? That's an that's a normal ISD. Why is it going in that direction? Sir, I just want you to shoot and over this, please. Why are you doing that? Where's the Tector? Okay, here's the Tector. So the Tector's over here. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess it's a nice angle. There we go. That's what I want. I love when ISDs just decide to say, "Hey, I'm just gonna go in the other direction." This is why I can't wait for the 2.9 uh, update because it's. I'm gonna have so much fun when my ISDs aren't deciding to do loop to loops around the everything. And excuse me, sir. This is, uh, this is a Wendy's. Actually, no way. Yeah, you guys go for the Marauders. The Marauders. Why did it call Marauders? You guys go for the Marauders. Victories are about to sort of go down. But they should be able to take out the shield generator with rather no issues. 5%, 4%. Something blew up. I think that was their shield generator, maybe? Wait, do they have two shield generators? They do have two shield generators. Okay. Oh, I think that was one of my Quintons blowing up, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, crap. Uh, so we're gonna lose a victory. That's honestly fine. Just focus all your fire on that. What ship decided to... You no, know, don't take that route. Just focus your fire on the thing. You should be okay. Uh, how are ships doing? Bombers... Come with me... Uh, just start focusing on these tiny little platforms over here. That should be rather more than fine for you. And for the rest of the starfighters, just continue focusing on anything else. We should, we should be rather okay. Because I think we lost one victory. Yeah, we did. There he is. Going up in flames and we have the victory that's deciding to go through the other victory yeah and the, the tractor beam is about to go down this is oddly kind of cinematic and it stopped right as it so it wouldn't crash with it see that's why i love this mod that's why i love this game overall it's like it's just so good <laughs> also i love this victory model amazing yep and that's screenshot worthy just just victory through the fire okay that actually does like kind of, that actually does look really cool with the fire just everywhere Yep, and that's awesome. I love when we just find those perfect screenshot moments. Anyway, ISDs, uh, no wait, this is the Tector. Uh, you know what, Tector, you focus on this. You are literally made it to break through everything, so just break through it like there's no tomorrow. Uh, you can just also focus on this. Uh, yeah, we took out that. Uh, ISD, you go over there, try to help out with that. Actually, no, wait, this, this ISD is about to take care of that as well. Same goes with this victory. Oh, and now they're retreating. Haha. <laughs> well, guess what? You're not gonna get away with anything, because we already blew everything up. And then the only thing left is this thing over here. And yeah, just... I think a Gazanti made it out. Wow. One Gazanti. <laughs> ah, victory. Well, yeah, we lost the victory. And our Quintons. 
kind of sad about the victory. We keep losing one victory per battle. Then again, they're an amazing ship, so I don't mind that they're doing my front line at the moment. And now, we can bring in our ground armies. Uh, we can get that Star Destroyer reinforcement that we needed, plus the anti-missile ships. And we can get those troops that we needed for the ground armies. So at Kuat, I have 367 credits saved up at the moment. I, I'm feeling like building some victories. Probably gonna build the ones with the upgraded uh, fighter loadouts. Yeah, because that's a victory too, right? Yeah, one victory once. Victory ones are great. Probably gonna get, go. Probably gonna build a few more normal ones as well because they're really nice. I love victories. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, Star Destroyer, just because of how cool it is. Uh, do I need? Can I build anything else on Tidaria? That's a golden two. Probably gonna build an Imperial Mobile platform, support platform for the sake of it. And yeah, let's try invading this. We should be good. Finally, take out the huts. <laughs> this is where the fun begins. <laughs> So, this would be the end of the Hut Cartel. I mean, end of the Hut's planet, like home planet. It's gonna, it's gonna be co controlled by the Empire now. But the Hut Cartel is really soon to be annihilated. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna move these guys over here, and then we're gonna land them as close as we can to the Shutter Shield generator. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. The shutter shields are indeed up. So slowly but surely cruising by. Through the canyon. And the grasslands apparently. Crap. They seem to already be there, but if we can somehow contest that... I don't think we're going to be able to, but just in case, I'm going to try. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to. Okay, so let me bring in some... Repulsor tank companies. We're going to bring in an at, -AT for the sake of artillery-ish support. Place heavy fire. And we're going to bring in some more heavy support platoons. Kind of, kind of as a way to like break through easily, then we can land more troops over here once we get there. There we go. Yeah, I would like you to move forward. There we go. Slowly but surely moving forward. Yes, Commander. Target acquired. Construction complete. Uh, sir, ATAT, why did you stop? Okay, so we have quite a little bit of resistance. We have some infantry on top of the hillside. A bunker buster turret. Yeah, the bunker turret. And we have a few. I think these are hut dwellings. Yeah, hut dwellings. Hut pirates. Fun. But I think we, this should be enough. The ATAT should be able to take care of at least a few of these when we move through here. I just want to be able to take those points so then we can drop the. The infantry as close as we can. You know what? Keep moving. You, you can you can fire while you move. Same goes for you. Just continue moving. Press on the attack. There you go. Just continue moving forward. We can't. Uh, 
Uh, what are you? Sure, some moving, some moving, some moving. Stop moving, Ewa. Crap. Ah, uh, fine. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bring in the entire army to break through that. Well, first of all, three pieces of artillery. Because this is something that I need definitely need to hit with artillery. Stop moving. You also stop moving. I'm gonna be moving uh, heavy troops in your direction. Heavy troops. A uh, few medics. Uh, a lot of anti-armor, and yeah, we're just gonna we're we're just, we're just gonna break through. You guys can do it. I believe in you. Come on, artillery. Open up. There we go. The artillery is starting to open up. We should be good. At least decently so. We're probably gonna lose that ATAT because I overestimated our chances. And we're just gonna start storming the beach. That's what we currently have to do. Yeah, and that's it. That ATAT is gonna eat all that fire for us. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna outgrind them with the artillery that we have at the moment. Yep. I know. You just deploy. Don't worry. Artillery online. Just slowly but surely moving it out. And we're, I think we're gonna bring in two groups. Oh, uh, snipers. I hate that the artillery is on the front. Slowly but surely moving out. I need to make that, I need to make the, the infantry move out as soon as we possibly can. Slowly but surely, come on. Come on, baby, I believe in you. Do do do. Ready to move. Awaiting destination. Scout trooper active. We're not gonna, gonna put we're not gonna get pushed back that easily. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna, gonna make you guys on crouch, so you can move forward quicker, and then I'm gonna make you crouch when we once we get to a crouchable position. Uh, I think the artillery is doing kind of well. We just, we just we just literally just need to like, outgrind them, which is the whole reason of why we didn't have artillery to begin with. It's just I hate how close the artillery is. But it's kind of the only option we have at the moment. Uh, which, speaking of, we're gonna have to be moving ATSTs in the front lines now. Cause yikes. There we go, yeah, increase their fire rate cause they can shoot from farther away. Ooh, baby, those are a lot of tanks. What's happening with the camera? Right, Je Jesus Christ, camera, come, camera, calm down. Trying to get an enemy's perspective here. God damn it, they're doing pretty damn well. Gonna get a ping over here so we can see how many enemies we still have left. 
So since we crushed this, because they tried to, they're trying to put us in a choke point. But I think the joke's gonna be on them. Also, nice, the generator finally stopped. I can actually hear stuff again. And it's not gonna be captured in the camera, which is in the stuff. Also, hi, Lambda, how you doing? I think we should be taking out the majority of them now. I'm waiting until we get that bombing run, because I'm gonna call in the bombing run. Because there's a lot of stuff I need to clear out. The artillery is coming in clutch. Um, anything else we could probably use? Combat bonuses for all vehicles? Uh, sure, why, why not? Better than nothing. I mean, they have ATRTs, not really the best thing in the world, but something. <coughs> definitely not what you want to break through here, but definitely not the worst. At least we're breaking through in some way. Literally, I'm just I'm just stalling until yeah, because there's they still have so many vehicles. I'm just stalling until this thing right here is ready. <coughs> Which speaking of, why? Why is it not? There's a shutter shield. Right, there's a shutter shield online. Meaning that I can't call them bombing runs. Mmm. That does complicate things. Which makes me even more happy that I called in the artillery. Yeah, let me put in the anti-infantry turret there for a second. Cause we're gonna need that. And yeah, we're just gonna have the vehicles clean up whatever they have left, I guess. Ah, there we go. Artillery's finally doing their job. Yeah, essentially this whole little grind spot was just grinded up with infantry to take in the brutal the battles. You can see them just dead like crazy. So then we could have the in the artillery do whatever damage it needed to. Now we're just gonna have the ATSTs and the ATRTs uh, take care of whatever is left. We first need to take out whatever we can. Which, trust me, it's a lot. Why is my camera doing this? And where the, is that music coming from? Seriously? Of course, there's like just that random ah, music coming from nowhere when I'm recording. It's lovely. You love to see it. Anyway, since we're about to finish it off, we just have a few tanks left, it seems. And the rest is just infantry that we can most likely just take down rather easily. Yep, here we go, and then just get me a ping over here. Yeah, we should be good. The majority of these are just dwellings. This is kind of going to suck, but luckily we do have the rocket ATSCs, so they should be able to take care of them rather easily. You, I need you to focus your fire on this vehicle. And I guess the artillery is going to finish off whatever we have problems with these, with these vehicles over here. The artillery is just taking care of that infantry like of nothing. Yeah, it's just infantry, right? Yeah, hot infantry. Ooh, just one more. Come on. Just this one dude. So, funny enough, the heavy fire of the repeaters is doing more than enough damage. 
One more artillery fire. And there we go. And the rest should be rather easily. Yeah, bombardment is available. We can't do anything about that at the moment. Yeah, I need you guys to destroy that turret. Because if not, we're going to be uh, rather screwed. Yeah, the, remain the remaining infantry, which is... We basically lost the entirety of our infantry in this attack. I wasn't expecting this world to be this well defended. Yeah, we should be able to take it out. At least what's left. Especially with our heavy-duty boys. Speaking of... Yes, sir. Start moving out. Now it is the time, walkers. Move forward. Uh, give me the artillery, and I want you guys to move forward as well. Where are they firing? Oh, they're firing over here. I mean, that's not the worst. Thank you, artillery. Where are you guys moving? Going? Come back, come back, come back, come back. Guys, come back. Over here. At least focus your fire on that thing so we can get out of the way as fast as possible so it doesn't kill us. Always ready, sir. Enemy sighted. Affirmative. Enemy spotted. Okay, now we just move back. Attack. There we go. Uh, we deal with the deserters. You will be rewarded for completing this task. Okay, so we killed the huts. That's good. Yeah, just focus on getting those kills. Destroy whatever you can. Oh my god, the ATRTs are actually doing a decent amount of damage. Oh, funny enough, you could actually take this out. With your rockets. Good job. Wow, these ATRTs are... Funny enough, clearing this out. And with the assisted by the artillery, they're doing amazingly. Take out those turrets. Take it to wipe them out. All of them. And now I just take care of that. Anti infantry. There we go. And all we have to do is just move in the infantry forward. Take this point and apparently... Or... Yes, or ATRTs and ATSTs are finally gonna have their spot in the limelight and actually... Get through like of, get through like of nothing, because we already killed all the enemies through sheer power of will. Oh, blast this. Oh, there go the rockets. There you go. Kill that shutter shield so we can actually call in the bombardments and the orbital strikes. Yep. Where do I want you guys to go? Over here. Same goes for y'all. Thank you for securing the point. Start firing at it, and then we gotta call in a bombing run. And call in an orbital strike right here. Oh, so that's where the mining facilities were. Ooh, is this an income planet? Can I build mining facilities in the Hada? Oh, I'm gonna mine the hell of this planet. There we go, and now y'all just go forward. Come on, ATSTs and ATRTs, you've earned your job. These ATRTs are unironically one of my favorite units now, just for being able to deal so much damage, weirdly enough. Remember that episode of the Clone Wars where Mace Windu and a bunch of clones got on, like, on these ATRTs, and they were just, like, running through... Uh, well, you're surprisingly close, I'm gonna pick another one. And they were just, like, running through the Ryloth deserts. Just blowing AATs like of nothing with those tiny little laser cannons. These things are surprisingly powerful. 
<laughs> Yikes! So, yes, we took Nalhada. Good. Also, holy mother of cow. There goes that entire ground army. And yes, this can build mining facilities. Uh, Commander, we now control 39 planets. Only two more and the Emperor will send us additional forces. That would be amazing. And yes, we're going to make this a super mega mining planet. Yeah, you know it's bad when your entire army fits in one single planet. Yeesh. Governor control Abyss. Yeah, Abyss would be a really bad planet to get sabotage at this stage. Because Abyss is one of my main productions. Speaking of Abyss... I want two, three more AT-ATs. Fuck! Man, they... Wow, they were building up. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, Onderon, the Hapes are attacking, and they have chosen Kashyyyk as the first planet to attack. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we have three or three. Yeah, we, we just need to build back infantry. Give me a second. I'm just going to continue. I'm just going to ignore them and continue build up, uh, building up infantry as we uh, do that. Because, holy crap. I think I'm actually gonna pull these death troopers because I'm gonna need them urgently I'm gonna begin this battle to see what I can do but I don't <sighs> it's a moth palace how much is that is that plus 160 or mine is 160 oh no that's plus 160 okay I kinda just wanna sell this and retake it. Like, I know it sounds awful, but to be fair, I really don't wanna do this ground battle. Like, sure, we have an army support quarters too, and this is probably doable with the amount of, like, tank companies, but I didn't hunker down as best as I could have. I don't have my turbo lasers. This is honestly gonna suck. So, you know what? I'm just gonna sell everything and I'm gonna send try to retreat these guys as best as I possibly can. So we're just gonna move these guys forward and try to retreat them. Save as many troopers as possible. So we're gonna have to retake Kashyyyk. But that's fine. Because we can do that. We're the Empire. We can do whatever we want. Speaking of, get out, guys, because I just remember that the, this is the Wookiee's home planet, and they really don't like us. Yikes. Another reason why I really want the turbo lasers, because with the Wookiees here, it's really hard to fully hold this planet, and I don't have the troops to hold it. I really don't. So I'm just gonna... What are those? Yeah, those are Wookiees. So yeah, just gonna have the troops hold it out here. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh boy. See the amount of hapes and their Archon tanks. Yeah. I can't retreat yet because we still haven't taken a point, I think. Now we can retreat. We can't hold out any longer. All forces retreat. Yep. All forces retreat. We shall come back for the beaches of Kashyyyk another time. Unit destroyed. But this that day is not today, because we cannot hold out. There we go. 
System lost. And those forces are going to Umbara. Enemy fleet approaching. Enemy fleet incoming at the Maw? How? I mean, <laughs> that's gonna be shit for you when you see what I have at the Maw. But how? <laughs> That's my question to you. Just how? How you doing? You need help? <laughs> you need some serious therapy? Cause I sure do. Fleet incoming at the mall. How? Just... I am questioning my life. The Ma space battle imminent, and I cannot auto resolve it. Thank God for the two balladers. Begin. <coughs> oh, this looks different. An enemy fleet has entered the perimeter of a research facility in the Ma. Admiral Dala put in command of the Ma complex defenses by Grandma of Tarkin a few years ago. Will aid you in this upcoming battle. Defense the station at all costs and make sure that Bevel Emless and Admiral Dala survive the battle. Okay. I was not expecting this. This is very, very interesting. I mean, it's taking a while to load, that's for sure. So, is this a, is this a story event? I mean, it must be, there, because there was no auto assault button. The enemy is approaching. And there we have the two belladers. What? Who are these peeps? A Kelda Bay class ship. This Emerald Natasi Dala to Imperial Force in the center. The Margaret Station is under attack. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> but they're gonna regret the last time they did this. Upgrade in progress. Uh, all personnel is working with highest efficiency. Uh, we'll do that later. Cancel. Right now, we're just gonna make uh, firepower go to bombastic levels of bombardment. Upgrade in progress. Yeah, sure. Add units to the reinforcement pool. Why not? We have the re We have the resources. Let's just go over here. Let's run this gauntlet. So I'm guessing this is where we're gonna build stuff. Because this is a research facility. Oh, this is our Space Deck 3! Oh, so the Space Deck are the default stations. That's cool. Anyway, yeah. I don't know what you think you're gonna do against two Belters, but good job. If you manage to do anything at all. Cause I can guarantee you something. Upgrade in progress. You ain't gonna do much. Imperial destroyer at station keeping. There's a lambda here. Oh, I know who the lambda is. Go back. I want the lambda to go as far back as I possibly can. So Bebel Lemus does not get inside one of the Star Destroyers. Good to know. Wait. Imperial destroyer holding. Yeah. I want all the fighters to go over here. Just attack whatever you can. And I want all bombers. Ooh, we have tie defenders. To start helping me take out this uh, humongous coastal thing in the middle. Okay, so. Awaiting your command. Yeah, we're definitely going to be able to take this out rather easily. Since, luckily, because we have two belters, because if not, this would have been one hell of a nightmare. Wait, can I, like, can I please, like... Oh, yeah, never mind. I found a screenshot. Defend, defend the model costs. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, this is cool. Defend the mod all costs.
This is gonna be really, really fun, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, how are the how are the ISZs doing? Yeah, they're they're doing fine. Just focus your fire. We already took out two of, two of their heroes, so that's good. Focus on your fire and the shield generator. And all power to weapons. I bet they weren't expecting special forces. Bevel, are you in the back? No, you're not Bevel. Why are you in the back? I actually want you, like, taking care of stuff. Bevel, is that you? Good job. Yeah, you go. You go where that TIE fighter is. Yeah, I don't think we'll need those reinforcements that I called in. But just in case, you know, you know, you you never know. Anyway, the Golden 3 is holding his ground. You know what? Just go for the Corridor Destroyer. We'll be able to take out the Sabbath class rather easily. But if we get Dala, that means that uh, Emerald 10% combat bonuses to all ships. Beautiful. That means we're going to get a new Commander Admiral that we're actually going to be able to have. So that means another good ISD to... On when, while we, you know, get Vader and Veers and everybody who I lost stupidly back. But, <clears throat> besides that, uh, we'll, we'll be pretty good. Wow, one of the... Okay, you know what? You. Focus fire on this thing. No. Just focus fire on it. I don't want you to move that much. What's the shield generator? There we go, there. There you go, just stop moving. Just focus your fire on the shield generator. You should be good. Meanwhile, this guy... Uh, the shield generator down, the shield generator is down. Why can I not target the ship itself? There we go. Dala, you are taking a bit of damage from the concussion missiles. But you should be good. Oh yeah, that's a lot of damage. But you should be able to take out these acclimators with rather uh, amounts of ease. Meanwhile, you, Bellator, make sure this thing goes down. Speaking of, uh, the Golden 3 is actually taking quite a beating. Uh, try to take out this if you can. Focus all turbo lasers on it. Yeah, look at those shields go down. The Vengeance Frigate. Well, Vengeance Frigate, get ready to go bye-bye because you're not gonna be avenging anybody today. Okay, so Dallas taking that out rather easily. But she is taking quite a beating. So Dala, focus on this Corillian Destroyer. And Belder, continue focusing all fire on this Kelda Bay. Because we're taking these guys out like if nothing. There we go, we took that one down. Is there another? There's another Korean destroyer. Uh, please focus your fire on it. If I could see in this amount of fire. Uh, where are the shield generators on this thing? There we go, shield generators. Focus on that. We should be decently good for the moment. Man, good thing I brought in both Belters and the Golem 3, because this battle is being heavy. Even with all these resources. Yeah, but we're about to take uh, this down. Luckily, it seems that the Bombers are doing their job, which I'm happy. About. So, yeah, speaking of Bombers. Thank you for your support there. We can handle it from here. I want you guys to go and take down uh, the Sabbath mercenary. Which apparently is a considered a hero, so he's worth killing. That's for sure. Targeting maximum firepower, ion cannons, concussion missiles, turbo lasers, heavy turbo lasers, laser cannons, everything. I want all fire on that target. And this thing is about to go down. Dala is at half health. But doing well. And the Belder is also doing recent decently fine. You know what? 
Fire maximum effect. All weapons, all damage to all weapons, all fire to all weapons. There we go. And the Caldabay should be going down. What's the last point? The dual long range iron cannon? Yeah, sure, you go for that. I believe in you. You're a humongous SSD. You can take this thing down. Yeah, uh, Mandalore's capital, uh, Mandalore's capital city. Yeah. It is a Mandalorian battle cruiser. Which is rather sturdy. Mind you. And I think the only thing left is that Sabath class that's about to go down. Decoding transmission. So we take that down and wait, what's left? Imperial destroyer station keeping. Oh, there's two frigates. All crew accounted for. Yeah. I mean Bevel stay in the back. Don't come forward. Yeah, and after that thing's dead, just focus your fire somewhere else. Hey, little pirate frigate. There we go. And here's another one. So, would you like to surrender? Oh, I just noticed they also had a... This thing. I forgot what it was. Also, we finally got those reinforcements. Yay. We got a victory. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we it's, it's a victory for us, that's for sure. Combat maneuvers initiated. That thing is about to go up in flames. They don't stand a chance. The there we go. Well done, Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That was a lot more grindy than I thought it was going to be. But hey, look, the battlers paid off. <laughs> See, I think that was an event mission, right? So what does that do for us? Does that do something for us? Considering we... Did that defense? Oh, the attack on our research facility was unfortunate. We have to move our team to a safer location. Bring Bevel Lemus to BIS and continue research. Mission log updated. But my SpaceX 3 still the Maw, so those Belders are still gonna stay there. The attack on the Maw revealed those that those location is no longer safe. Bevel Lemus and his scientists move have to move to a safer location, take Bevel Lemus to BIS and build a research station. Okay. Chris Arcery Gorgon is under your command as soon as repairs are finished. Recruit Admiral Dalla in the Officer's Academy. Uh, where are the Officer's Academy? Over here, I believe. Coruscant? There we go. There she is. Oh yeah, now that we have Space Academy, we can also have Captain Nita. Oh yeah, sure. Let's have Dalla and Nita. Why not? I wouldn't mind getting a few more officers under my command. And what are these guys? You are a Corvette Captain. Frigate captain. I mean, why not? You know, we, we could use the additional forces. Unit in production. Why not? Uh, also, let's put the Emperor in the ground. So, we need to move you back to Argao and Bis. I guess we're taking out your turbo lasers. And we're cancelling those AT-ATs. Because we need Bevel. Let's go Bevel. Cruiser reporting. Uh, yeah, Bevel, come with me. The funny thing is that I need to keep... Jesus. Christ, stop that. There you go. And to move Bevel to Bis. And I'm gonna build another Belter. Uh, game plan Terry control failed. Yeah, I know, I know. But I'm gonna build... Complete. I'm gonna build the last Belter. Because now we can actually use that to defend uh, Bis. Because apparently we'll need... If, if, if another attack like that happens again, I won't have an SSD. And let's just say Bis could use it. Uh, Biz does have a goal in three already, right? 
Yeah, it has a golem three battle station. It has a frigate shipyard. It's 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 decently defended. I don't I'm not that worried about it. I still want to have the builder just in case. But yeah, those two builders aren't moving from the mod. Just want to make that as clear as possible. Cause I build my space deck three at the mod. And I'm gonna defend it. And we saw those two builders right next to the uh, golden three. Is an amazing formation. Really hard to destroy and defeat. So I'm definitely gonna keep this as a thing. Construction. That's a defense platform. Anyway, uh, is Bevel on his way? Where's Bevel? Is Bevel already there? Oh, Bevel's already there. Okay. Let me just get you in the planet, I guess. Mission log updated. Uh, Gunner control successful. Oh. <laughs> that was unintentional, but sure. Wait. No, I want to go to Biss. There we go. Can I build the research now? Yes. Allows the Empire to advance their technology by researching components for the Death Star. Death Star. I call it the Death Star. And yeah, let's move this artillery somewhere else. Uh, how's the Grand Army over here? Does it have a good artillery? No, it does not. I mean, yeah, it has three, so I might as well build a, bring a fourth one. And you definitely need as many reinforcements as you possibly can. After a few kerfuffles in the past. And let's start bringing this entire Grand Army uh, to you, because we need it. Which, me which means coral lag. Build me some regular at for now. Bring me those troops, because I need them right now. And you guys land on Umbara. Umbara is becoming a small, tiny little <laughs> fort. But yeah, we take Nimban, we take Sheik, we take Trandosha. And we're going to be looking really nice. But yeah, with that builder being built, when apparently the maw getting that or what happened? Production facilities, automated fire factory, and we get heavy weapons from Triple Two. And eh, I'm not really too worried about that. There we go. Yeah, let me just move you guys up, I guess. Uh, do I have any I can build anywhere? Nahada. Oh, I forgot. Nahada is gonna be mining facilities galore. This is gonna be this is gonna be mining facilities, like crazy. Can I build a moth palace? Oh, Under yes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So much income. So apparently, uh, once she's done building, we're gonna have two new star destroyers, and that means two new admirals, which is gonna be really nice once we get that because that means we're gonna have those admirals plus our fleets while we get Bader and Veers and everybody back it's looking fine Alhada has be been that much income for us or got our credits up to 13,000 which if we already didn't need credits well here we go we have credits galore and now we have Biss to be the next like center for research 65,000 credits. That costs a lot, but then again, we can have them in reserve. We are, we, 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 we were good. So I guess, for the sake of, I mean... You know what, let's not, let's not end it here. Let's see what happens when the thing gets finished at BIS. And, and then we'll end it. I'm not gonna leave that big of a cliffhanger. But we'll, but we, we, uh, what we, we, what we will have to do next week is finish the battle for the control of the hot planets and once we do that then that will be kind of like quote unquote over and i got more let me construction complete you know what you get a you get a new pro mobile support platform why not is the stuff done at this yes it is Ooh. Upgrade to Imperial Tech level to 4? Classic Nodgy upgrade? 
allows production with prerequisites of Imperial Space Station Level 5, Gravity Well Station, Imperial Class Star Destroyer, Interdictor Cruiser, Repulsive Lift Jammer, ATAA Walker, upgrade to Level Tech 5 requires to complete requires completed Death Star construction. Imperial Destroyer ready. Mission oh! Oh, dear. Goreman, where's Goreman? Also, welcome to the fleet, ma'am. Uh, you are immediately assigned to this bumbling fool before he gets the entire fleet utterly annihilated. Because that man is a moron. I'm going to be moving to those, in those two uh, I victories over there as well. Uh, and you know what, let's build a... Well, let's, let's build a few more of those, why not? Unit in production. But yeah, that man is a bumbling fool. And yeah, you guys Destruction get over here. Mission log updated. Glad to hear that. Ooh, he's fast. That's fast hyperspace. Defensive structure, base generator, ATMA, company times four. I think we can do that over here since I built a... I know I built a shutter shield in one of these. Ah, oh, there's a base shield generator. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Cruiser online. But yeah, we're good. We're, 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 we're definitely, like, more than good. Oh, we can upgrade it as well? Well. Woohoohoohoo! This planet is gonna be... I think this planet is gonna be your main income. Yeah, because it has literally all of the upgrades. It's gonna have a plus two. Lost. Wait, uh, an ISB engine has been neutralized by an enemy passive operations officer. Yikes. Wait, I, I can upgrade this to an Imperial Palace? Sir. Uh, gain planetary control of Aridus to get two acclimated two cruisers. See, if that was Venator, maybe. But, eh, I'm gonna be able to build them once I take Rothana, so I'm not really too worried. But, okay, real quick, I am gonna... Huh, I am gonna have to defend this planet with my life, because this is... Jesus. Small mining colony, plus a great SQ-1 platform once it's done. And a Imperial Palace, and three mining facilities. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of income. What is it? Reconnaissance, intersection for yada yada yada. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, this is gonna be quite interesting. I am God, I hate this mouse. God, I think we're actually gonna be able to get like near the two thousand mark of credits because Jesus. I think I'm I think I might I mean then then again I should probably leave it here for the sake of that but I think I'm gonna move Benesada over there so they can just make the multiplier even higher yeah just, you know what Benesada you've been reassigned to Nalhada since we need credits like crazy our guy is on the core world so he's still well defended I forgot how to build these guys over here what are you guys missing one more heavy heavy boy so you want another walker yeah, I can get another walker Cruiser reporting. Uh, let me get you another walker. Katonamoid, I think, is the one that builds my walkers. Baby walkers, Manan. Manan builds, builds a baby walkers ride. I call the ATDPs the baby walkers. They're just urban patrol vehicles. But yeah, Nahara, you are gonna get you. And I'm gonna put you in the thing. I'm gonna leave you in the ground. Yeah. Almost 2,000 credits. Wowza. What just happened? Our team of scientists has successfully eliminated all the design flaws of the first Death Star and improved the designs we have now found in a proper location. I'm sending you some great and I'm prepared. Okay, so I didn't take the gore, man. My team is prepared. So yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go rescue Jared Rod. Mission log. <clears throat> locations. The new Death Star needs to be built at a safe location. Imperial's intelligence needs to scout several locations to gather more data. However, the schedule is tight. 
Task. Send Pearl Door to the following systems. Time limit 15 weeks. Kali. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I have the probe droids ready. Like, right here. Also, hi, person. I'm gonna send you over here. Navigating. Is Kali over here? In this direction? I'm guessing it is, right? No, it's not. Well, let me send that probe droid out real quick before we get that cancelled and we fail the construction of the Death Star, because then I would just be really mad. Now, that's Feline. Where's Kali? Ready to go. Kali. Kali. Hello, Kali. Oh, there it is. I hope that counts. If it doesn't, pain. I need to upgrade to some off palace again. Oop. Upgrade under construction. Give me that income. We need that income. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, this time I think I'm gonna be in it here. Wait, I've been sitting here so long that Delator is about to be finished. Yikes. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna have the three Bellers running around now. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun. Uh oh yeah, and Nita's about to be finished as well. I think he has an ISD too. But that's not that bad. I'm gonna send them over to this fleet as well, since this is the main ISD fleet. Yeah, and this fleet already has a few people. Star Destroyer reporting in. Hey Nita. <clears throat> but yeah. Cruiser reporting. I think I am going to be ending it there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. More production facilities failed. Uh, and thank you, Stream, for being here. It's really nice having you guys around. Interesting location. The publication would be helpful to our construction schedule. However, a recent battle in the system attracts pirates and other scum who want to salvage the debris. You know, I'm trying to do my outro here. Mission. Jedi. Okay, guess I'm not doing that. Good thing I have my probe droid saved up. But, but I, I, I already control Jedi. Can I not? I, I, I have a feeling I can't send them over there. Wait, what do you want me to do? Send Prodor to the following systems. I mean, can I send them attached to another unit? Like, if I send, can I send like two probe droids stacked together and then that counts as like a fleet? No. Can I send it attached to like a normal army support platoon? Crap. Jesus Christ, mouse. Stop it. Okay, so I can't like that. What happened? Space defense. A hyper velocity gun, and we get broadside cruisers. Eee, Coruscant, uh, would you mind building me one of those? We sell one, we buy one. Reconnaissance failed. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada, yada. I mean, I guess we'll wait for these guys to get there, so then we can do that, because I actually am really interested in this mission. I wanted to make this a short episode, but... It seems that I cannot do whatever I try to do, because it just fails. The Yoda voice has gone down the line. Good Yoda voice, this is no longer... This no longer is... Speak backwards properly, I cannot... Uh-huh. Did it make clear that Jedi does not suit her conditions? Uh-huh, you think? Yeah, think, boy? Ratsus Prime. I think I don't own that one because it's over here. 
right? Yeah, Ratsus Prime is over there, so I can actually send a probe droid there this time. Oh yeah, the, the group of towers that has just been there this entire time. Uh, so yeah, let me just send a probe droid to Ratsus Prime, get that finished, and then we'll end the episode hopefully after that. And if we can't, then... I don't know. This gives you an idea of how fun this mod is when you're like, I should probably end the episode. And it's like, you're not gonna end the episode. I'm not gonna end the episode. And the battle is about to be finished built as well. <laughs> and we're almost at five, we're almost at five hundred thousand credits. God, star destroyer Jesus. Where's the star? Oh yeah, the builder. Well, hi Biz, how you doing? I mean, Biz can build us this space second. I think it's the only planet that has the ability to do so. But then that means we kind of want to save this in the ground, since apparently it's a ground construction kind of thing. So, fascinating. I need to have the Death Star completed though. So I'm going to be moving this ship to Biz for now. Uh, what happened? Uh, defensive structure failed. Yeah, not really focusing on that at the moment. I'm just sending probe droids to places. Places to go, got to follow my dream home. Where's the probe droid? There's a probe droid. Boop, probe droid. Probe droid. <laughs> Soy boy. Mission log updated. What happened? Uh, production facility, simple barracks, and we get a juggernaut company. Ooh. Arsus Prime is too close to known enemy bases. The Death Star is built for combat situations, but we don't want to test it as long as it is under construction. You don't say. G, you don't say. Uh, Toydaria. But. But. But I can't because it's attached. Once again, I need to attach it to another support platoon. Heroes of the Empire. Luckily, it can move rather quickly. But yeah, I need to attach it to something else to be able to move it. It's like kind of annoying, but I guess it's doable. Oh yeah, I forgot I have more capital shipyards over Fondor. I have a bunch of capital shipyards that I'm barely using. I, granted, 511,000 credits. Jesus Christ, we're just, we're just letting time roll by. And I'm not going to engage in another planet f invasion, because I am leaving that for the next episode. And location Solace, time to take a reconnaissance unit. Yeah, I know, because Vader's there. I'm just waiting to finish this, so that I can do the mission for the Death Star. And then I can officially end the episode here, so that I can end the stream and go cut it. So there is close to hot space and too close to the galactic core. Cargo and fleet movements will make the hot suspicious and the likelihood of cargo rates increases in this area. You don't say. Mission log updated. I mean, the huts are about to be eliminated, so I wouldn't really worry about that, but sure. Locations. Lock. Jesus Christ, man. Stop. Just choose a place already. I'm gonna have to build so many probe droids I mean that's not really that big of a deal but still we all know the whole point of this is so you can choose Endor just choose Endor already Jesus Mission how many support platoons do you have actually do you have that many I'm actually gonna send you a few yeah while I'm while I'm doing that um we're gonna just grab a few of these guys and then just move you guys out. Oh no, yeah, and you guys are gonna move you to the heavy... Uh, infantry army. And there we go. Move you over there, and move you over here. Because we're gonna need those reinforcements. What happened? Game plan to control failed. Yes, yes it has. And we're about to get to lock. Lock is on the edge of the galaxy and it's unlikely that anyone will disturb our pigeons there. We will keep it on the list. Okay. 
Anything else, sir? Mission log updated. Endor. Thank you. So I can just get that over with. I don't Mission have to worry about it anymore. Spy on Endor. Which means we go to Endor. We take control of Endor. And we basically have to take Endor. We need to defend Rat Attack as best as we can. Defend the land of Endor as best as we can. And get the Death Star building. And where's what is going to happen with the airspace of Endor? Well, we're probably going to send the Bellator there. Uh, considering that SpaceX 3 is over at the mall at the moment, which is not the best choice, but hey, desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah. Speaking of, Anatsis, you can build me Lancers now. Uh, the primitive Ewoks are inhabiting the first moon. Maybe we can even use them as a cheap workforce. Besides that, it has to be as breathable atmosphere. Okay. So is that a good Mission thing? We start to remove all traces of retreating and running from galaxy. I have a target from the Emperor press on it. You have to decide between mission Concord is specific plan from pirates, Dantooine. Okay. I need to governor control a uh, uh, Fondor, okay. So, nice and all. And we have broadside cruisers. We'll send them to the support fleet over here. Location confirmed. So, I'm guessing we need to go to Endor for, for it, since, you know, makes sense. At least it makes sense in my brain. Unless Kuat can build it, which would be hilarious if Kuat can build the Death Star. But I know this is supposed to be like a top secret project, so I got it. So the Maul has my space deck three, meaning that's gonna be heavily defended by a bunch of by the Bell by the Bellators. I have two on them at the moment. I'm probably gonna move them out because the Bellators are gonna be my defense fleets. So this Bellator is gonna be over at BIS if we ever do build a space deck four on it. And then we're gonna move this dude over to Endor. Yeah, so far so good. Five seven five hundred seventy nine thousand credits, people. Jesus Christ. Can I build a frigate shipyard as well, or will that just cancel out? I'm guessing it's just gonna cancel out, right? Yeah, because we have the space sector three already, so and the capital, so yeah. I just wanted to see if I could build the other one that I really wanted to build because now I, that I have Space Tech 3 I can build TIE Defenders and everything like that. But I really want to build a frigate shipyard for the sake of interdictors. I just don't know where would be a good planet to build them. Frigate? Frigate. Navrugado Ray. Okay. Oh, you're a mining planet. What happened? Thunder! Something blew up. Okay, you blew up. That's fine. Also, the good thing there's an Imperial Prison there. Cool. Okay, Fondor, Good. Yes, they destroyed... Thing. Nice. Lovely. Anyway, uh, we definitely went over the... Skid mark this time. Holy moly camoly. So, yeah. I am going to... <laughs> Why? I just want to end the episode. When I said that you provide and to a conclusion, there will be the set for the new death. The plan is in branch and major. Shield generator for the death. Resistance construction is scheduled. Finishing the death. Two years from now, the emperor does not tolerate any delays. Okay, cool. Also, the first one took you 19 years to build, but the second one conveniently only takes two years. Just saying. I know I'm talking about the major plot of Star Wars at the moment right now, but we are all thinking it. We just don't have the balls to say it. What? Preparing Endor. Morgenrod informed you about the decision to build a new Death Star at Endor. Prepare the system to start construction of the Death Star. T task. Move Jerjerod to Endor and, con and start construction of the second Death Star. Time limit? 104 weeks. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause here. So. <sighs> we gotta take Nimban. We gotta retake Kashyyyk. Trendosha, which is what we were thinking of doing. But now, we need to go to Iridonia. 
to rescue Jerjerod. So then we can break through intersection 1. Or just... Actually, we don't even need to go. We just need to go right to Rat Attack over here. Thanks to Jakku. So we need to break through Rat Attack. Fortify this as hell. Go to Endor. Fortify it even heller. Move a Bellator from either Abyss or leave it Abyss. Or the one... One of the two Bellators I have over the Maw to protect the Death Star what's being built. And we should be good. Right? Right. So, Vader at Sullust. Jerjerod at Iridonia. Over on top of the map. Which is now priority. And... Veers was where again? Where was Veers? Onderon. Ooh, actually, Onderon is not that close to us. It's actually pretty close to us. Yeah, sure. So we need to take out the hapes as well. Okay, so first things first. Build a Death Star by rescuing Jerjerod. I mean, probably take out the huts first. Just, you know, finish what you started. And then we do the rest. Also, I'm going to start building, like, ATD piece. And other forces for the sake of holding on to Nalhada. Now that Nalhada has become Moneymaker 3000. Well, 2000, more like it. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We have uh, quite a few Moneymakers. Having Nalhada and Kessel. It's really, really nice. So we've taken a big chunk of the galaxy we've efficient we've effectively split it in two at the moment there there are no forces that can go from the south of the galaxy to the north of the galaxy unless they're breaking through with a stealth unit and there's no forces from the north of the galaxy that can get to the south of the galaxy and we have a few uh connections from the north we have also a few connections through the south we just have to take all of this as best as we can. I mean, right now we need to go to Endor, so we're just going to branch off and slowly but surely secure ground as we go. Which I'm actually pretty excited about. But, but of course, first of all, we need to rescue Jerry Gerard, And we need to rescue, 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 rescue Vader and Veers as we go along, since I really want to do that. Oh, so we're building, we're building Lancers. Uh, so if you excuse me, Lancers are my life. The new anti-starfighter threat. Just Lancers, Lancers, and more Lancers, please. <laughs> I love these things. Uh, oh, also, that means I can build Victory too. so it's cool now, right? Yes! You know what? Screw it. Let's order, let's order five. Oh, yeah. Cap. Never mind. This... Never mind, we're good. I think we should definitely stop uh, grabbing units. I'm gonna have to build a lot more fleet cap, meaning that... Yeah, I need to take planets. <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna leave it finally there. The recording went for way longer than it should've. But we just kept getting interrupted by story missions. I don't mind, though. I'm really enjoying the mod. And now more than ever, because not only longer is just playing the mod for the sake of playing it, which is fun by itself, yes. But this? Ooh, baby, this brings a whole new level of thrill to it. And I'm really excited to continue playing it, because now I'm really excited to uh, rescue Jerjerod and get to Endor, start building Death Star 2, and have like this... I don't... Okay, normally you would blow up planets using the Death Star, which is a thing that you can do, and I certainly probably want to do that with Mon Calamari, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of want to just go to Mon Cal and just be like, blow it up. So I'm probably going to do that. Uh, but there are some planets I do, don't want to get rid of and actually do want to conquer. But like, Strongholds at Genosis, I could probably just blow it up and get it over with. I could also just simply blow up Mon Cala, which I'm going to do. Um, probably having four do what the first star, first Death Star couldn't and do that. And yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just establish my foothold and go ham. And probably build the Executor as a defense fleet for either Coruscant or Kuat. But yeah, this is this is where the fun begins. If the I mean the fun began a long time ago. This is where the fun continues to evolve. 
Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this. This, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've uh, been having so much fun. Yeah, remember to like and subscribe the video. And yeah, we'll see you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye guys.